Hello everybody, I'm Lynn Law, Associate Editor at Cena, and this is Steve Madison, Creative Type Director at Monotype Imaging. Now Steve has designed countless typefaces for many popular devices, including the Xbox, Kindle, and Windows Phone. Steve, I know you have a lot of strong opinions about fonts, so let's get right into it. What do you feel about the fonts featured in the iPad? Um, Apple uses Helvetica in their mobile devices in the iOS, and uh, Helvetica was designed in the 60s for large use for posters and, and, and signage. Um, it really wasn't meant to be used at small sizes for legibility reasons. It's very tightly spaced. Um, the shapes kind of close in on themselves. And so it really isn't the ideal quick glance uh, user interface uh, typeface. Now what kind of devices do fonts very well? I, I've, I was involved with the Android project and um, I believe that uh, their uh, approach was very good to have a open uh, open humanist style sans serif as the main user interface font. Here you can see on this keypad the lowercase e is very open, lowercase a is very open. In the um, numbers especially, uh, in the Helvetica style typeface there's a lot of uh, ambiguity in the 6, 8, 3, and the 9. They can be very confusing for someone who's trying to dial a, a phone and everything's vibrating and moving. Um, so the, the open forms of the Android sans design uh, are personally what I would use for legibility. And another font that you've designed for legibility would be the fonts that are featured in Windows Phone, is that yeah. correct? Yes, absolutely. And how are they different from the Droid fonts? Um, the Windows design was done first uh, back in the, about 2003 and uh, with the same idea in mind of keeping things very legible and neutral, not adding too much personality but not being so cold and impersonal that people don't want to use it. Um, for Windows Phone, we made some adjustments to the design to make it a little bit more contemporary because after all, it was uh, seven years ago or eight years ago that we first worked on the Seago design. So we made it a little bit more contemporary for the, uh, the Windows Phone platform. And again, with this design, there's open forms, uh, there's a little bit more curvature, a little bit more playfulness than the original Seago design that was done for Microsoft. Well, thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate you coming over. Absolutely. Thank you.